Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the use of lookup tables or LUTs as opposed to power grades. So it's important to note what can actually be stored into a lookup table and what can be stored into a power grade. Okay, the information that can be stored into a power grade is virtually anything in your color correction can be stored there from qualifiers to custom curves to primary color corrections. Anything like this can be stored into the power grade. It can also be exported from your system and moved to another system as well. So it makes it an excellent choice for taking very intricate grades and moving them around. Now, for example, lookup tables or LUTs are separated into various different categories. You have what we know as the um, calibration LUT, which is something either used for calibrating a monitor or a video projector, for example. And then we also have what we call a look lookup table. These are LUTs that are distributed, imported into your system for creating a specific look. However, what the is actually uh, contained in this lookup table is very limited because it's basically just a primary color correction. And so for um, basically you can have maybe a bit of a curve grade in there, some primaries, but it will not store any qualifiers. So for, for example, sometimes you can buy off the internet a package of lookup tables for achieving a certain type of look but, uh, for example, I usually do not uh, recommend using these types of lookup tables. However, sometimes these type of lookup tables can be useful for creating a grade and then showing it in the viewfinder of a camera. So, for example, if the uh, director of photography wants to see a specific grade in his viewfinder, you can take this uh, lookup table from Resolve and export it from the system and then import it into the camera so that it shows up in the viewfinder. Now another thing too is you can create your own library of look lookup tables to either use for yourself or export and send elsewhere. And these are for example for compensating for faded film for example. This is what I use it for frequently or for creating a specific look such as like a science fiction look or a very colorful look or something like this, it gives you a starting point. Now it's also important to think about where lookup tables can be injected into your system. So for example, once you import the lookup table, you will then have the ability to either have it for the entire project that you will see it in the lookup table menu or you can right mouse click on the clip in the color page and inject the lookup table there for the entire clip or you can put it into a node so these are various areas so there we have it. For more information about training, have a look in the comments below. And for more tips and tricks videos, have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. Think about becoming a member of our Patreon. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And also subscribe so this way you and ring the little bell on there so this way you can be alerted when I've got new videos coming out. And I hope to see you really soon. Thanks a lot and have a great day.